Today, I'm going to give you a crash course on the clench band handle. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to get maximum versatility out of this handle and also answer all of the most frequently asked questions that we get about how to use this handle properly. So the clench band handle is designed to work with pretty much any loop style resistance band, whether they have the long loops or the short mini loops or anywhere in between it will work just fine with most loop bands. It does not work with the tube style bands with the carabiners or anything like that. It's set up for loop style resistance bands. Now on this handle, there's three unique attachment points that make training with loop bands a lot more comfortable and versatile. And it's what sets this handle apart from everything else on the market. Now it can be a little bit confusing at first because there's all sorts of different attachment points and you're not quite sure how to use each one, but that is what I'm going to walk you through. So the most common attachment point is going to be these outer hooks on the outside of the handle. And the, the, mo the easiest way to hook the band into it is just like this. It's just that simple. If I want to do a bicep curl, I hook it up here, I have it down on the floor, and I'm doing a bicep curl. Okay, so the band gets slack in it, right? That's another big common question. When this band gets slack in it, it might fall out. So like with this bicep curl, we don't wanna have slack in the band. You wanna have tension on the band during your entire exercise. So this handle is designed to be able to take up slack. So all I need to do is loop my band around an additional time, give me some more slack, and I could even go a third time around on this outer hook to give me even less slack and now I have tension on my band. I can do bicep curls and this thing's not going to fall off on me. So that is how you use the outer hook in a nutshell. Okay, so the outer hook is the most common attachment point and it's also the attachment point where you can put the largest resistance bands. And we can accommodate up to a inch and three quarter wide or 1.75 inch wide band. And that's the clench green band. And you can see that it kind of barely clears in here and you have just enough room to get that thing in there. And if you need more resistance, all you need to do is stack some bands. So you can add, you could add another green or you could stack in a purple or you could stack in the black and so on and so forth to get the tension that you need. Attachment point number two is the center attachment point, And that is a little bit more protected so that your band doesn't fall out. And it also puts the band down the center of your handle. So to, to do that, all you do, grab a smaller band. This attachment will only hold up to one inch wide band. So that's the clench black band. This is a red band. It'll also use the orange band anything less than an inch wide so that you can clear into this gap. And once you pop it in there, it kind of stays in there. It won't come out if I move this thing around because it, it locks in nice and tight. And what this does is it put the band center of your hand and it's great for doing like flies and other exercises where you want the band to be in the center of your hand and you might want that band to stay in there a little bit tighter. And like I said before, this center hook only holds up to one inch wide bands. And ultimately, for the exercises that you're going to be doing with this center hook, that should be plenty of band for, for what you're doing. Otherwise, just default out to the outer hook. And pretty much any exercise you do with the center attachment, you could move to the outer hooks as well. So last but not least, the third attachment point is the neck of the handle itself. So we can basically take a band and just wrap it right around the neck of the handle there. And that'll allow us to do all sorts of neutral style grip exercises. So if I wanted to do like a tricep extension like this with a neutral grip, that's I can do that as well. And also if I wanted to do an overhead tricep extension, this handle's got two nice areas to put both of my hands. I can do some triceps with this thing. And you could just do all sorts of different grips with that third attachment point. I want to show you one more way to use the outer hook and that is instead of wrapping a band across and through both sides like that, you can actually hook 
one half of the band on one side and one half of the band on the other side. And this will effectively give you a doubled over band with twice as much resistance. So if you're gonna do something like rows or something where you need a lot of resistance, that is an excellent way to hook the clench band handles onto a 41 inch band. The next concept that I wanna show you and, and walk you through with the clench band handles is we're going to set up a deadlift and then we're going to show you how to stack multiple bands onto these handles just like you if you were gonna be pyramiding your weight up while you're doing sets. So to set the deadlift up, it's pretty easy. If you're ever gonna be hooking two handles onto one band, I recommend doing it just like so, where you put one on one side and then one on the other side, because what that does is it puts the handles on the inside of the band, and it also makes sure that it's evenly set up. That's the other hard part of getting this thing set up properly is to make sure that everything's even. But now that I did that, everything's set up nice and evenly. And to do a deadlift, it's pretty easy. All I have to do is get this thing on the floor, step into it, get my shoulder width stance, making sure everything's nice and even. And then I'm doing a deadlift. I'm gonna knock out my first set. And then when I'm done, I just set these guys right on the floor. Might kind of fall out a little bit, but it's pretty easy to set back up. And then I wanna jump into my next set and I wanna bump up the weight, right? So I'm gonna grab a black band. And now to set this up, pretty straightforward. Grab this one handle, hook it around. Grab the other handle, hook it around. Now my bands are nice and stacked. Spread them out to get them tight. Step right back into it. And I'm off and running. Here's another example of how you can use the clench band handle and stacking bands in between sets to make your exercises and workouts a lot more efficient. So I'm going to be setting up a chest fly here. Notice I got a couple of different bands set up. I'm gonna start with my red band, low resistance. This is gonna be my starting set. All I do is pop these guys in here just like I did with everything else. Step out, get my warm up set in. You know, I'm gonna crank out 15, 20 reps, get the blood moving, finish that set, let them down nice and slow. Come over here, I wanna bump up. Now I'm going to the heavy set. I'm gonna do red plus a black. All I do is hook that black onto the outside, let it hang there. Same thing over here, keeping it even. Hook this black onto the outside, making sure everything's on the same side, set up nice and evenly. And now I'm ready to jump into this next set. So I'm gonna step out. This is my working set. Ooh, I'm gonna grind out a few reps here. It's getting nice and heavy. And that was a nice, easy change. And one thing that I hear a lot is that people are having trouble with their bands falling out of their handles during their exercise. And the only way that that can happen, it's honestly, it never happens to me because I keep tension on the bands the whole time. So the only way that it can happen is if you let tension off of this band and you actually have to let a lot of tension off of this band for it to get unhooked. So if I'm doing a rep here and then I let it slap back up like that and the band gets no tension on it, that means you're doing the exercise wrong. If you use a machine or free weights or anything, there is always going to be tension on that rep. You're gonna have some kind of mechanical tension the entire time. It should be no different than when you're using bands. Like you should not be cranking through these reps and flapping your arms like a bird. Like you're trying to do this exercise effectively and efficiently, meaning you have to keep tension on this at the bottom of the range of motion and the top of the range of motion. If you lose tension at any point in time, during that range of motion, you are not getting an effective exercise. And the way the clench band handles are designed, it ensures that you're doing your exercises properly. One more question that we get a lot is, why isn't the handle smooth all the way around? So on the front side of the handle, we have a nice even contoured surface. And then on the back side, there's openings like this and there's ribbing in the back side. And the reason that it's not smooth all the way around has to do with the manufacturing process. So this is an injection molded part and to make a single 
solid part like this that is structurally very strong and also efficient to manufacture. You, you need to have a consistent cross section, which is why we have these ribbings and corings on the backside to make sure that the, the flow of the material and everything works well. Um, there are other ways to make this thing so, solid and smooth all the way around, but it wouldn't have given us as strong or as consistent of a part. So ultimately, to get around that, if, if you're feeling uncomfortable, one, you can always flip the handle around. So if, you're, if, if the open side is downed in your hand, it's gonna dig in more. Just flip the handle around to a comfortable position, depending on what exercise you're doing. And if that still isn't cutting it, we do sell clenched grips, which work great. So this is a silicone rubber uh, attachment that will work on dumbbells, barbells, and it also fits perfectly right onto the clench fan handle. So you just spread it apart and pop it on, and that is what it looks like, and it fits right in your hand. It is a little bit larger in diameter, and it's designed that way specifically to help get you more arm engagement, and you'll notice that a lot more while you're doing your lifts. Big last question that we get that's kind of all encompassing is how do I know if I'm setting this up right or what's the proper way to set up X exercise? Uh, we have a lot of videos on our YouTube channel that show you exactly how to set up a ton of different exercises, but the, what really matters the most is that you use a comfortable way to set it up. There's no wrong way to set it up with a clench band handle and make sure you set it up comfortably. And the other thing, like I stressed before, is make sure that you have tension on the band during your entire range of motion, from the bottom to the top. Even beyond the range of motion, having tension is always a good thing. So if you follow those rules, that will definitely get you the place you need to go. And when all else fails, just use the outer hook. This outer hook is what you're gonna need 90% of the time, whether you're gonna be doing, say you wanna set up you know, a chest press. Well, guess what, it's two outer hooks, and then you just wrap it around your back, and you got a chest press, right? Or if you're gonna be doing some kind of a pulling motion, well, we got two outer hooks, and now we're doing a row. So whether you're doing pushing, pulling, or a pressing maneuver, uh, overhead press, outer hook right up to the top we're doing outer outer hook overhead presses bicep curl same thing outer hook for the vast majority of the exercises the outer hook's going to work great and if you need a neutral grip then all you need to do is use the neck of the handle to give yourself that neutral grip exercise whether you're going to be doing tricep extensions or overhead presses just like i showed you before so hopefully that clears up all of the major questions you had about the clench band handle or anything that's stopping you from using the clench band handle or getting the most out of using it in your workouts. Be sure to drop anything that I might have missed or any questions you have down in the comments below. We would be happy to answer them and maybe even do future videos on it if it's something big that I missed. Also, if you need a clench band handle or if you need some bands and accessories, head over to clenchfitness.com. We will hook you up with the best and the, of the best. And as always, if you liked what you saw today, if you had some kind of great aha moment about the clench band handle, be sure to smack that like button. And also be sure to give us a subscribe if you wanna see more of this kind of content in the future and help us to grow this channel and reach more people. And thank you for watching.